No, no, I said it. Thank you for tuning in, Pith and Changes. That is me, the babbler. That is me on this evolutionary, revolutionary high of an uprise at this time. And so, as you can hear, guys, my voice actually sounds better today. <laughs> Believe it or not. I, that is what I'm going to say. Um, but I was <clears throat> trying to give myself some rest. I am actually enjoying my December 26, 2019. Um, they actually, um, off. <laughs> Although I'm in the midst of doing lots of things and having lots of things happen around me, um, I feel called to record, as I am at this moment, doing, to share with you some more found, um, enchanting babbles that are not dated <laughs> this paper I happen to come across today all of these messages are timeless um, <clears throat> there's something in this for whomever wherever you are there's a message in here for you some way <laughs> somehow whatever if not, take what resonates, let go what does not, and look at it as poetry from the soul. Whatever. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I'm reading it because I'm trying to understand it because this was written. <clears throat> this was written in colored pencil <laughs> right so alright so that's great <clears throat> so in colored pencil <laughs> that's how these things happen so if you're not in tune or um, up to date with any of my videos in regards to what I mean by these papers these are random papers that I find that are not dated um, that are channeled in some kind of way through me and I don't recall ever writing these things so this one says clarity interesting that although this message is timeless we're in a solar eclipse kind of energy right now <clears throat> it says clarity hung up on a lover love from the past hanging on to the weight karmic Lesson, letting go, false twin like, perceived perfect, it's nonsense, walked away, did not expect to, them to be happy, when you come back, they come back, they come back, mirror, mirror, they come back, then I have, <clears throat> giving up, it's too hot, watching, and now they return. And then for some reason I have Aries, Capricorn, Cancer, and then the number 60, 6, 0, right in here. And, um, that's interesting. So, here we are, and I have my Spirit Animal Oracle cards. And so I'm going to shuffle them here in regards to this archaic <laughs> record surfacing, um, for whatever shape, form, reason. That it decides now to present or show itself to me. But the biggest thing is the mirror, mirror. <clears throat> they come back, they come back, they return. Speech. And the letting go. Letting go of the weight, too. Because that is the kind of things that we are learning and processing and, and doing. You know what I mean? Because we need to do these things for our healthy up lift of a shift that is occurring at this time you know what i mean guys so yeah so here i am so in regards to this archaic record and stuff like that here we are <laughs> excuse the noise in the background where there's some workers here in the house um doing some stuff so there will be um there were, there will be um noise in the background so forgive that but a lot of wonderful things are taking place in every which way, space. 
center that we uh, line ourselves in for our own for our own um, growth alignments and stuff so clarity is here at this time we have a solar eclipse bringing and I just heard shadowing because it's some kind of solar shadow effect that's taking place so in this place that it's taking place in this space a shadow solar sun coming into light you see some clarity about maybe some hung up feelings on some kind of things that serve to gift you the karmic lesson for the alignment marination alchemical practice that is now being mastered by the alchemists who have been doing the work 555 change at this time so <clears throat> no more nonsense oh this is <laughs> a arm band because I do a lot of body work, I just, you know, I have to take care of myself too, so these are for my joint alignments, and it just feels good to have it on and stuff, so that that way, um, you know, um, because I use my elbows a lot and stuff, and my wrists and my hands, I'm always putting on things that, um, my cat loves when boys are around. They never really come around to my sanctuary space because I live alone here with my daughter and so it's just us and our animals <clears throat> so Ebony who is the rescue kitty who is also you know horlicious <laughs> turtle swear slow and steady wins the race everything has a time space place divine space plan oh I'm gonna have a go